Hello everybody, it is Demon here. Thank you so much for tuning into the Demon Cast. This is the Remnants of Cert, The Song and the Sword, Chapter 11, Part 2, the finale. Another two hours? Under two hours. You're the like, whole <laughs> thing will be under two hours. You're like, another two hours, just be patient with this. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you're like, oh, I want to kill all of these people, that might take a while. Okay, um, let's see the bear tribe. I would need a dirt gun of explosions. <laughs> there you go. Fireballs, fireballs. <laughs> or a uh, one time use scroll of the dragon slave. Just... That would might do it. But you kill all the slaves that you're there to say. Oh, great. Oh. Casualties of a war. Um. <laughs> no, it's kidding. <laughs> I'm just, just look at his face. <laughs> was it, um, collateral damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Acceptable losses. Um. So. You enter into a desert. Um. First day following these this trail into this desert. It's very rocky on the onsets after you get through the mountains. Um, like I said, it's getting towards fall, so the nights are rather cold mm. and chilling. Not quite freezing or anything, but very cold. Um, yay for all your extra stuff. Yeah. But, um, you know, desert, the ground heats up really quick and absorbs a lot of heat and it just gets really hot and insanely warm mm-hmm. during the day. So you're running at like 40 degrees Fahrenheit at night and probably 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the day. Which is not as extreme as some deserts. Yeah. It's a desert in Africa that I think it's like negative 10 every night and 180 every morning. Wow. Maybe 140? Okay. Um... It's kind of the desert where you just sit under a tree and wait for night. Press the digitation. Nice little breeze. Breeze, cold, cold breeze. You know, just kind of. Okay. <laughs> it was like one of those mist breezes, you know, like those fans that shoot water. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Water skins start to go dry. <laughs> Summon Monster 3. Honey water elementals. Create water. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> okay. After we take a, if they fill up a big basin full of water, we splash around in it for a little while. We're good. Yeah. How are your rations? Um Summon deer. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> Come on, I only got nine rounds to kill it. <laughs> but, but the problem is that it doesn't actually die. Oh, it just gets yeah. unsummoned. Wait, it's... does that mean your water gets unsummoned, too? No. Just the elemental, I suppose, because it's okay. just saying... Hey, it's anyway, um, you can all roll me um, fortitude saving throws. Why would you pick the lowest... Oh, wait, nice. Why is fortitude the lowest for you? Oh, God. Six. It should be your highest. No, oh, it's no, so hot. Not. You're a fighter. I know. But it's not. Like you get that much will. Two no, it's just because I had the... Uh, the yeah. Yeah. You just... I fail horribly. Yeah. Uh, I got a nine. Wait, wait. I know. Seven. Inspired competence. No, that's only for skills. Never mind. Well... You're getting exhausted. You're walking through this really hot desert and or really cold desert with all this armor on and it's taking a while and you just keep walking and you're still following the trail. Mm. You bump down for the night. Okay. In the background you can hear laughter. Stop laughing at me. It's not Moraine. Oh, that's first. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like happy laughter. Maniacal? Kind of maniacal-ish. It's it not a- ha ha it's kind of... It's weird, non-human type laughter. 
Okay. Roll a will saving throw. Twenty one. Okay. You still manage to sleep. Okay. Um, just to make sure, I put my bow into the fire that we make, mm-hmm. so it recharges its ah, one point. Yes. Brilliant. You managed to ground, scrounge up some bits and pieces of brush. Yeah. Um, you're getting to the point where it's getting to be more like sand dunes as mm-hmm. you're traveling. Um, the It's still hard-packed. Okay. Sort of, there's sand dunes over there, and there's sand dunes over there, and there's some up ahead and whatnot, but it's still kind of hard packed, and you can still find a trail, despite the fact that it's obviously a well-worn trail. Um, it is getting more and more difficult. And perception checks. 23. 27. Okay. There's three figures over there. Three figures? Yep. They're standing on a sand dune, apparently looking at you. <laughs> Very far away. Um, they appear to be bipedal. So, standing on two legs. Okay. Can't really judge height or anything. They're off to the east of you. No, you're heading east, so they're off to the south of you. Okay. Let's go towards them, right? Yeah, I guess we can't be very stealthy out here, though. Says who? I'm, I'm a halfling. You just hide behind... <laughs> 30 <Anyone>. Anyone. <laughs> Hides behind the joke. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Your, uh, your armor goes sand-colored. Yeah. <laughs> They'll write the chromatic armor. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Chromatic armor. Um, so you start following them. Okay. Do they keep moving? They appear to be moving. This might be a mirage. Okay, let's... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the, the speaker can't see it, but Ben looked at me like, you wouldn't do that to us, would you? <laughs> Okay, um... I start heading back into the proper direction that we were heading after the carriage. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. The figures off in the distance still seem to be moving, but they're so far away that you can't tell which way they're going. Hmm, okay. So you, you, you don't know if they're heading towards you or going away or whatnot. I mean, sometimes they go up and down on the sand dunes and stuff like that, but you couldn't really see it. Yeah. Okay, let's continue on that path then. Okay. You can't have another night. Okay. I hold not menu. Where is Minion? <laughs> He's over there face down in the sand. <laughs> and he, he, he like puts your hand up and gives you the thumbs up sign. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Either that or he's like trying to pretend he's swimming in an oasis. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Master, water elemental, please. <laughs> I use up the rest of my spells for that day before I sleep. Okay. Water elementals. Um, why don't you uh, roll me will saves to deal with the laughing? Which is louder and closer. Sixteen. Ah, uh, fourteen. He didn't get much sleep. How about him? He, he managed. I'm tired. Coffee, yes. please. Water elemental with coffee. <laughs> um, you're going to take an egg one to constitution? Okay. So, I mean, right now that doesn't really do anything, but, like, put a sticky note or something, a mark, let's say, hey, next one. Temporary. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's temporary until you get good sleep. Okay. 
Let's what, continue. What if I on. drink coffee though? Do you have coffee? Yes, I bought some. You bought some. Remember when I had the very uh, that one port town? <laughs> I had it in my pouch the whole time. <laughs> okay, you get a plus one to dexterity. <laughs> You're like you still not get your constitution. <laughs> no. Um, That's okay. I can make up. For that. <laughs> <laughs> Copy. Hello. Um, so you start walking. You're following your trail. Roll me a survival check to keep on following the tracks. Shit. That would be a twenty-three. Okay. I lost it. Yeah. And Cameron's like <laughs> over here. <laughs> You're just trying to swim. Like, hey, this. I think they're going that way. Oh, no, Marine, that's that's a cactus. Okay, those figures are over there. <laughs> they're watching you. They seem slightly closer. Okay. <clears throat> I have nothing to do with this. It's like maybe haste. Or alter self. <gasps> I changed form into a small bird. Small size bird. So it'd be like an eagle or something. Yeah, alter self. What do you mean? The text. Okay. He's like, wait a minute, no, this is not going to be another house of cards. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. DM, too late. <laughs> okay. Uh, one at a level. You cast the spell. You can assume the form of any small or medium creature of the humanoid type. <laughs> you can be a harpy. There you go. Damn it. Or one of the flying elf things. Um... If the form has any of the abilities you assume, following abilities you gain those, uh, dark vision, low light vision, scent, and skin. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you can be a harpy. Okay. I don't want to be a harpy. I want to be an elf with wings. That doesn't really? make any sense. Yeah, it does. It's, what are they called? The aerial something? They're, they're like an elf with wings. I just don't want to be hard. Yeah, I know they're in there. Somewhere. All right, just do it. All right. No. I uh, fly up. I okay, you fly up the lake. No. And I do a perception check. Okay, you do a perception check. <laughs> they're over there. Um. Okay. How close are you gonna get? Um. I'll stay out of bow range, but I'll. <laughs> I was gonna say, why don't you go up so high where you're just like a speck, so they can't really see you, and it's just that blinding sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna fly over them. Okay. Um, you notice that there are four figures. Okay. There is three humanoid ones and one that looks like a dog. You get closer; they all kind of look like a dog. <gasps> Anubis. You get closer. You realize these are gnolls. Oh! They are watching you and leveling a bow at you. Oh, hi. And the dog's a hyena. Okay. <laughs> are they... <laughs> are they within 400 feet? Yes, they are within 400 feet. Fireball! <laughs> I just my house of cards. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can cast fireball. Okay, well, I don't do that. Okay. I, instead, I go back because I don't want to go beyond nine minutes and fall to my doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I go back to <laughs> Gowrin. Gowrin, Gowrin, there's gnolls. They were going to shoot me. Where are they? Let me at them. Roll up my sleeves. Yeah, remember, remember the, the figures in the distance? They're over there. Yeah, they're there. That's where they're running at. Alright, roll the constitution to the room. Hey, haste. That is not good. That would be eight. Eight? Yeah, constitution. Saving throw. Oh, fortitude, you mean. I'm sorry, yeah, fortitude saving throw. Oh, that'd be, uh, 14. Yep. Okay, see what you mean. Um, it depends on the solution. It's slow. 
Yeah. Um, so you're running and you're running and you're running and now you're really exhausted and you realize, hey, there's a lot of distance between me and them. Hmm. It's not so far when you've got wings. Yeah. And I can't carry them. If you were a harpy, you could. No, I don't think so. Yeah. So. I could try a large eagle. No, because it's yes, you know, right? Yeah. Okay. A large harpy. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a harpy. Okay. Alright, so there's no over there. Can we reach them? You can head towards them. Okay. Let's head towards them. Okay, you head towards them. Right? They're moving. Towards us? You can't know. How far, how far do you keep going? Just keep going? Yeah. No, okay. I cool. stay. You stay? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Okay. Unless you want Joe to carry me, then I can try to rest. Well, how's Joe enough? Oh, yeah, roll him a constitution saving throw. Uh, Fortitude 18. Fuck, he's okay. Okay. <clears throat> You're giving him enough water. Yeah. You're running low on rations. Yeah. Joe eats a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing he's an omnivore. It's a bad thing if you get hungry enough. Yeah. Okay. Do we ever catch up with them? If you keep following, you eventually find their footprints, and you can realize they're walking away from you. Okay. Let's, let's keep going the direction we were, because otherwise they're just going to wear us out and try to kill us later. Roll survival check. That, or I can fly up and shoot a fireball at them a couple times. And... That would be 25. Survival? Yeah. Uh, 19, 20, 21. Ah, okay. Well, he's got it. <laughs> um, apparently at some point, Garen read a book about hunting tactics. Mm-hmm. And um, desert hunting tactics, you pretty much outpace your prey and let it become exhausted before moving into the kill. Fireball it. Fireball it. Yep, we're going with the house cards. Alter self. Fireball. Okay. Um, Times two. Roll me a dexterity. See, what I can do is go around the other end, shoot fireball, so maybe they run towards Gaur. And then you just... This is more about how far you're going to get, or how long it takes you to get to them, and whether or not you're going to have enough time before you... Uh, oh, right. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's see. Alter self four, alter self three... So, you said dexterity? Yeah. Nine. I forgot, this is taking a lot longer next week. Sorry. <laughs> Nine? Yep. Okay, you can cast one fireball at them. Okay. They can make reflex saving throws, correct? Yep, 17. You, you kill him. <laughs> kill him all. Because you break the game if one of them survives. <laughs> and you also break the game if... If you hit one and the rest survive. Okay. They either have to live or die. They can't do both. This is not shuddering your snow. Okay. You kill him. Right. Congratulations! Yay! Good job. Follow your tracks. Survival checks. Okay. Same as Oh, terrible. Twelve. Not much. No. Seven, eight. Okay. Nine. You spend a day trying to find out where the uh, the tracks were going. You make very little progress. Okay. 
Um, you spend two days, like, slowly following these tracks, but you're just getting harder and harder, because the sand's starting to flow over it and whatnot. And just when you think you, you can't find it anymore, you, uh, you crest the top of a hill, or a sand dune, or something, um, just as it's getting dark, and up ahead you can see the lights. Hmm. And it almost looks green over there. Is it nighttime or is it daytime right now? Uh, it's the sun setting. So it's light enough that you can still see color, but dark enough to be like, whoa, there's lights over there. Oh, I can see that. Alright. Well, I had a silly idea if we make camp, dig up the hole and put water elemental in there and then heat it up with fire magic and create those mineral springs and relax before the night. This is probably the most genius thing you've ever heard Gavin say. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, that's why I'm with you, Moraine says. And now I'm going to have to draw a picture of Joe, Minion, Belili, Moraine, and Gowran just sitting out in my hot springs with a little water elemental just like wringing itself out. <laughs> <laughs> and Gowran just like eating things up. <laughs> yeah. Burning hands. There we go. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm gonna do that. Right makes a little press of digitation whirls. Oh by the way, your your loss of constitution goes away. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's morning. You feel all spot up. <laughs> Radiant. There's a city over there. Okay. What should we do? Stealthily, or do you want to turn into that flying thing to uh, investigate as far as you can? Oh, well, let's let's start with that. Because um, wish I could share my alter self too. Be like alter self Matt or uh, the Galrin. But uh, anyway, let's yeah, we'll start with that. The flying thing? The flying thing. Right. Give me a perception check. Just him or? Well, you're not flying. Huh? You know, I could be on the back. Of me, the creature? I, I know. 23. 23. Okay. So, you see a city. Now mm-hmm. this is, it's green, right? So, or it's greener compared to everything that's brown. Um, so there is some type of springs or something here. There's no river or pond or anything that you can see. Um, as you get high enough, you do see a few water features. So obviously there's water. Okay. Um, we're talking eight foot tall walls around this. It's not necessarily just a circle. It kind of, like if it was a depression where all the water collected, perhaps. Okay. So it's got an interesting shape to it. Um, that's all like a very pale stucco type adobe buildings and whatnot. Very, um, you know, just like logs or stuff that like hold up the layer that makes up the roofs and stuff like this. Um, there is a larger complex in the middle of this thing. Over there, there's like haciendas type things where it's kind of a little walled thing and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And um, over there, there's like a mine or something. Over there's like fields. So. Okay. This seems to be an actual pit. Do I see any residents? You see a lot of gnolls. <sighs> you also see some humans. And some teachers. teachers. And some... Well, you wouldn't be able to see half elves. Um, okay. Yeah, that's probably it. I go back you to You might see a minotaur or two. I go back to Calvert. And... And... Me. Okay. Okay. Hey! 
This is what I found. Mm. Seemed so, like anybody was hostile. And you also saw plenty of null patrols out of okay. the desert. Well, then, then that answers my question because yes. it seems like it could be a potentially hostile environment. Did you see any cages? Did I see any cages? Or like places where people were being restrained or held? That kind of stuff. The minotaurs you saw were pulling large loads. Um, I'm going to say no. No, there was not really. I mean, with the nine minutes he took, he's probably not like looking for that specific thing. If you want to go take another flight. No. If you want to get close. No. That's all right. We can always try and walk in and be like, hey, hey, yo. <laughs> I mean, you there was... Could also there yourself was into uh, a knoll. Yeah, but I don't... Well, I suppose they speak goblin. Right? No. I think they speak knoll. No. I know they speak knoll. No speak no. Oh. <laughs> okay. You have your own language. I know. You can use ghost sound to make it sound like you're saying stuff in there. No. There you go. Curse me for changing out that spell. You're really just eating this up. <laughs> oh, I'm like, whoa, crap. <laughs> like, this was never planned for you to have that spell in the first place. Oh. So, okay. this was planned since before... You get the spell. Okay. Um, that's up to you, Gavin. Let's stealth the in and see what we can spot. Okay. <laughs> in the barren open desert, you stealth your way to the city. 23. Know, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, with the Minotaur. <laughs> The uh, we precipitation so he blends into the background. <laughs> Turn him sand colored. Why not? Right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything. Okay, let's just go in. We'll, we'll stealth in to see what we can find, see if there's anything hostile if they come back for us. Okay, you approach the walls. Do you approach it a wall wall or just a gate wall? Remember, it's only eight foot tall, so you can climb it. There are patrols on my walls. I suppose... In fact, Romeo stealth checks, and you, you can still decide gate or wall. Okay. 31. <laughs> oh. 23. Minotaurs are minotaur. Yeah, did you roll above a 4? I'm Joe, yes. Okay, congratulations. There's no patrols at whatever section of okay. wall you go to, unless you go to a gate. <laughs> okay. Who we see? Delta. Do you go to the wall or gate? We'll go to the wall. Okay, you go to the wall. You don't see any patrols. I mean, Gower can throw you up there. Actually, almost anyone in your party, except for Minion, really can throw you up there. <laughs> okay. I can just imagine uh, Marines like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're on top of a wall. Okay. There's no way over there. We just walk in the other way. Okay. And um, everything's fine, and you could drop down into this place. I don't want to drop down into this place by myself. The rest of us are climbing up behind you. Oh, you yeah, are? I presume okay. they're climbing up behind okay. you. That we do, then. Let's go. Okay, why don't you um, you roll a climb check, and why don't you roll a climb check for Joe? Joe. Okay. Joe does not climb things. <laughs> um, what did you get? You get a 20. <laughs> he he free runs up the wall. <laughs> eleven for Joe. Oh, I love Joe's getting eleven. Yeah. Okay. Well, it takes him a long time. Okay. Um, but he, he goes. Yeah. And Joe was intimidated. <laughs> intimidated by my oh. freestyling up there. Yeah. <laughs> Minion also takes up. He tries to do the same thing. And just goes <laughs> <laughs> and dies. Oh, no, Minion. Oh, <laughs> not, not many. Okay. Okay, but, yeah. Um, you're now in a city. All right. Let's you're, skulk you're, around. You're within buildings and stuff. Okay. 
Here, you're sneaking around. I see the nearest resident that uh, is not a Minotaur. Okay, nearest resident that is not a Minotaur? Fair. Yes. Okay, there's a no. And that is not a no. Okay. <laughs> Y'all roll me stealth checks. Why? 34. Nothing <laughs> can be good at this. 7. Okay. Joe is Joe. <laughs> Hi, guys. Brain's like... <laughs> you know, doing the whole dirting thing behind a barrel, behind a thing, behind another thing. And um, Gowron and Joe are, like, trying to keep up with her, and they knock over a barrel, and Anil just kind of, like, comes around the corner, looks at you, and just keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> Must feel sorry for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We tried so hard. By the way, Minion had a pretty good roll, too. So, okay. Um, you can't find Moraine or Minion. <laughs> or believe me. We're special hops. <laughs> special hops? Hops. Oh, yes. Hops. 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 Yes. Okay. All right. So, I stopped stealthing. Okay, you stopped stealthing. Um, and... Cast Fireball. Let's find a store. We'll get our stuff. Okay, so you're looking for a store? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> right. So you start walking down this. Um, there's gnolls all over the place. You see the occasional human and or teeth line. Um, everybody kind of like looks at you like, what the fuck? But nobody actually says anything. Oh. I st- and you find something that looks like a store and you walk in. Okay. Um, there's not really a door on it. It's just kind of a thing. They put like slide a board or something in front of it to lock it down. It's just kind of an opening in the stucco ish things. You walk in, it's got little potions. We'll say it's potion shop. And there's a knoll over there and it's brewing something. And there's another knoll adding ingredients to whatever the brew is. Greetings. We would like to purchase rations and water. Hello, potion seller. <laughs> I need some of your strongest potions. Oh, no, take your thing, Tim. Do you trust the dragon? No, no, That potion seller thing. Right. That. Yeah, they came up with a head of you to know. Okay. Um, yeah, we look for rations. And why? Okay. And maybe something to help with desert stealthiness. Okay, so you blah 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 type barter yep. stuff. What did you want to pick up? Just rations. Yeah, rations, water so, supplies. And directions to the place. Also, can we pause for a second? Yes. What's the matter with you? I'm going to delete the... So you attempt to, to ask for the directions... And um, the the most point. Okay. And um, they're pointing. And when you walk out the building and you look out, the biggest building is kind of the direction they're pointing. Okay. Wait, for the skull tribe thing? No, you ask for directions. Oh. They don't speak. No, so you're communicating like this. So they just point that. Okay. So... Maybe they understood you and the Skull Tribe is over there. Oh. Or maybe they don't understand you and somebody speaks commons over there. <laughs> okay. We'll look for someone that speaks common. Okay. Um, so I feel like you're walking around going common disco? <laughs> <laughs> Nani? Mm, roll me a d6. Yeah. One. Okay, you find a human. <laughs> um, human girl carrying a basket full of some type of clothing stuffs. You stop. Do you speak common? She says, yes. Oh. Hey. I'm Marine. Bard extraordinary. Minstrel of minstrels. This is my sidekick. So my minotaur. It's my goblin. A bard? He gives to the queen. 
Queen. Green. We're new here. Oh, I suppose we need to greet your queen. Okay. I have to go. Uh, the queen's in the house. I gotta go. Okay. Bye. And she hurries along. Bye. Kind Bye. of nervously. <laughs> Bye. Okay, pull a David from logistics. Boy. Everyone used to say that at the very end, but boy. Okay. So, we uh, go over to the place, the palace. Okay. You to the palace. It's a bunch of noble guards. Hi! We're here to greet the queen. One of them leaves, and he comes back with another note that appears to be more... Ornately dressed. I mean, these old guys carry spears and stuff. This guy looks more like a captain type person. Okay. This is. What are you? What you want? We're here to greet your queen. Who are you? I am Marine Leftfoot, Bard Extraordinary, Minstrel of Minstrels. This is Gar. Er, Guardian. Yep. <laughs> this is Joe. You are a minstrel. Didi, quick draw. <laughs> I pull up my food. Silters will love this. Ooh. Please stay here. Wait a minute. He walks up. Comes back. Says, come in, follow. And you walk into this nice little room type thing. It's pretty large considering everything's made out of stucco and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So this is... Obviously, more engineering for this thing kind of goes up a little thing, and on this um, on this throne type thing, the really pretty dress is um, a tiefling. Okay. Um, bluish skin, horns that kind of go off to the side and kind of do this little curl thing up. Um, dark hair, pure white eyes. And she sees you, and she like is really excited, and then she's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> um, she appears to be very young, and um, this is, um, greetings. And uh, who who may who who do I have the honor to address? Brain has a little flourish of her cape. Does look face bow. I am Rain Left Foot. Bard extraordinaire, minstrel of minstrels. This is Gowrin. <laughs> this is Joe. This is Minion number seven. Why is he Minion number seven? That is a story I can tell you. I'd love to hear a story. Oh, Maureen starts telling a story. All right. You know, um, perform? In a song, yes. Do you need backup? I do. And I will start my bardic performance, which gives him a plus three to doing stuff. So that would be 23. Okay. <laughs> I'm blowing my flute. <laughs> yeah, I'll perform you. No, no. No, no um, because he gets like plus a billion. Yeah. 25. Yeah, 25. So 23 and 25. So close to outperforming him. <laughs> it's a good thing this yeah, guy's easily impressed. He rolled an 18 and I rolled an 8, so... And um, she, she she's excited. She she gets off her throne and comes back, and the the note that you spoke to is like, <clears throat> "Excuse me, my queen, you should." She's like, oh, okay, okay. And she turns around and sits back down. And says, um, can you tell me more? And just yeah. Okay. So you spend some time telling her. Um, she invites you to like follow her and walk through the palace and stuff like this as you tell her stories and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have the full attention of the queen, and you also have a entourage of gnolls following you, armed to the teeth. <laughs> and I just gotta be like. I originally was gonna set up a uh, thing for this, but after, with Moraine around, I just assumed that you were gonna do less of blowing up the gnolls with fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> so. Inverse mini version. This is Queen Seltris. Okay. Um, Your Highness, we are searching for the uh, tribe of black skulled people. Black skull people. Yes, they wear 
painting black skulls on their faces. Rozkash, do you know of um, anybody with the black skulls painted on their faces? And uh, no, just kind of shrugs and goes, um, what's the name? <clears throat> Maybe one of Melok's. Who's Melok? Um, Melok is the person who collects all the prisoners from the surrounding areas and the gnolls use them as slaves. Oh, I see. Okay. He, um, he's up there in the uh, Hacienda Texas. Because that was weird. <laughs> up in the foreign quarter. Yeah. Okay. Um. There we go. Do, should we explain why we're here for him? Maybe. Because if we just go up there and be like, ha ha, and then kill him, then we're going to have. Alright, well, do you want to pitch in here? Alright, fine. I'll tell him the story of our, our village got burned down, ransacked by supposedly this person, and why we're what, here. Put your blacks faced. Okay, this young chief thing. Person looks horrified. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned they take them, right? And she goes, I, I don't know. You should speak to Malak. That we will. Your Highness. Um, Rushkosh? And he just looks. Right. We'll be on our way, Your Highness. Whenever you need a mistral, call on Murray. Left foot. A very excited. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. She doesn't get to see outsiders very much. Um, Rosgash will send an all to lead you towards the foreign quarter. Mm-hmm. Um, nice little hacienda type thing. And the um, will just kind of points to that building over there. Okay. Yeah. Probably doesn't speak up. Okay. But. So, you're in an area predominantly all humans. A couple half orcs. Okay. Um, you walk over to a building. It's kind of like a little saloon type thing. The door's open. You walk in. Um, it's got that era. There's music and whatnot going in here. And there's a bunch of people. None of them have black skulls. Okay. Uh, what was that guy's name? Um, Mendat. You should Malak. you should do the digitation so you can have the black skull appearance on your face walk in. No, no, let's not do that yet. Be like, sir, we're reporting. No. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll we'll ask where Malak is. All right. Uh, some random person will point. He's over there. Okay, go over to Malak. All right. You approach Malik. He's this big guy in a scrungy beard type thing. He's over there playing cards or something with somebody. Hail. All right. Can I help you? Yes. Uh, my name is Marine Leftfoot. I'm a bard extraordinaire, minstrel of minstrels. So you're here to play? Yes. Okay. I'm going to beat him in the game. Hmm? Whatever it is. Oh, okay. Right. So I, I can't think of the game. Okay. I'll deal you in. Okay. Um, yeah. Are you blind to? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Um, let's say it's a basic luck-based game, but there's some strategy into it. So you can roll a d20 and your intelligence modifier. Oh, dang, it's not skill. Oh, which for me is just like, durr. <laughs> But there's luck to it. Okay. Ten. Uh, ten for intelligence. Yeah, Malak wins. Okay. Um, actually, there's quite a few guys. So, let's say if the other guy wins, and if you're playing on him, Malak will win. Okay. You want to go one more time? Yeah. No. Oh, nice. Good job. So... I do the James Bond thing. I do a few rounds and then, like... Yeah, I'm going to get a couple coins. 
here and pass around. There's some you do your your small talk while you're yeah. Essentially, that's what I was saying. saying. Yep. So, what's your small talk? Uh, small talk was uh, hi. Uh, well, we're actually looking for a, a tribe of humans that are uh, have a black skull. Those assholes. Oh, they're on the other side. They do everything on the uh, the west end of the country or continent. They're kind of. Sad. I think they're all fucked in the head. Okay. But you want to talk to uh, Othgar? There's their leader person. But okay. um, try to keep your head. Like, try to keep our head uh, is like a level-headed type of... Uh, no, procedure. try to keep it attached to your body. Uh, okay. He's not a happy person. Why isn't he happy? I don't know. Those guys are just weird. Okay. Oh, um, by the way, you have seen zero halflings. Zero halflings. Zero halflings. Zero goblins. Zero gnomes. Nothing smaller than a short human. Okay. I'd be like my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go over to uh, the big dude. Okay. Go across the hacienda to the uh, place with the black skull barbarians. Um. Okay. Yeah. You into the the building. Um, very different from the light-hearted bunch of guys drinking and shit over there. Mm -hmm. This is a group of people. There is some music. It is more, I want to say, folksy Indian type thing. Just just a drum or something. Okay. Um, not an Indian thing, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, there is a bunch of people. You realize that a lot of the black skulls are not actually black skulled. So much, or then it's not filled in black. It's like a black outline that some of them have filled in, some of them don't have filled in. Um, there's a woman with a bunch of tattoos and stuff all over her, and she's like painting fancy designs into one person's outlined area. And there's a so there you are. You enter into this thing, and like everything, just turns their head towards you. Quite a few people here. Quite a few. Okay. Anyone look like the leader? There's a great big guy over there that's got somebody painting little um, lines of snakes and stuff over his um, the outline. I turned to go. I guess we never decided what our actual strategy was going to be. Kill them all. Yeah. Here, here's revenge. What did your sword do? Fire damage. Just extra fire damage with the, the jewels? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah. Extra fire damage. Like, you can hit and add, like, an extra d6 or something, right? Yeah. No, 2d4. I don't remember. Because yeah, you had two, two, two charges. Okay. Yeah, charges for something. It didn't say on here. A lot of people? A lot of people. Okay. Between 30 to 50. It's a big building. Fireball. I was just thinking that too. Yeah. Um, you lost? Nope. We're not. Quick draw. Fireball. Quick draw? Fireball. Yep. All right. There's a loud explosion as people are blown all over the place and whatnot. And um, you get people that come in from the sides. Come in on you. Mm -hmm. Basically, 
grab a hold of you and throw you out of the door. And as you hear moaning and whining, or actually not really, you hear a few moans, but then a lot of cursing. And um, this big guy that was having the little snakes painted over his thing, he walks through the door. Okay. Doorway. Well, he kind of has to stand sideways a little bit as he walks through the door. And um, he is dragging this sword. Um, did I... Okay. Well. It's huge. It is iron. And it is very big. Mm-hmm. And it is very thick. It is to the point where Gowron's not even sure if he could actually lift it. Okay. Um, there's no way in hell that an iron sword could be this big without actually breaking as far as if it were thin. This is a couple inches thick and wide and whatnot. Okay. This guy stands probably seven, eight... You know, seven, five, seven and a half feet tall. Seven and a half feet tall. Cool. Okay. And you're going to roll initiatives. So, give me your character. I finally get to this. Oh, it. This is going to be awesome. Alright, so this great big guy comes out of the doorway. Oh, I thought he was right there. That's because we'll Okay. Oh, the door's here. Yeah, you were thrown out, so I guess back up. Um, giant sword in hand. Um, behind him, people start filing out, but they're not drawing weapons or anything. They're just watching. Ooh. Mm. Some people rub themselves on a freaking burn. <laughs> <laughs> These should be good. I shall kill him with 13 seconds to spare. <laughs> Let's measure the rounds, shall we? You're not a cleric. No. I'm Round not a one. Bleedy has a total of sixty friends, right? Okay. Bleedy wants to know if we're supposed to be attacking him. I. Okay. She pops out of existence. Okay. It is now. Off guard's turn. Crap. Ooh. Oh, why is Marine in the front? Well, no, we were all on a line and Minion's behind her. What? Because uh, Lily was here, we were all like in this line. Yeah, I know, but why is she in the front and not Joe? Because you put Joe there. Oh, I know, but why? <laughs> Alright. So he is going to. Charge the green guy. Why would he charge him when she cast the fireball? Because you look big and squishy, and I am no honor worth. Because you're the closest big guy. Okay, see? It's okay. And um, she didn't work out for charging, because it's not a straight line thing. And she'd be dead if he charged her. (laughs) I'll be dead in two hits. Don't worry, I got you. I think you see this shit. Okay, vital strike. Um, oh, okay. oh, that's a two. So that's a 23. Does a 23 hit your AC? Nope. No? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. What? Two. Dear God, three. Why? Four. See, I get killed right away. Five, sixty seconds. By the way, I love that feat I found. <laughs> well, he only gets one attack. That's true. But the fact that he will hit us every single time, 16, unless he rolls a one. Six. <sighs> okay. Um, twenty-two plus strength. Oh, it's thirteen. 35 damage. Alright, 50 health points up. I got Vital Strike too. Actually, I got improved Vital Strike. 
Really? Yeah. Interesting. So that what that means that uh, base attack times three. Wow. Okay. Well. Base attack times three? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Why haven't you been using that? Because I keep forgetting about it until you use it. <laughs> Dude, that's an awesome thing. I know. It's, that allows you to hit more when you can't use a full round action. Okay. Um, what does it exactly do again? It allows you to do more damage on one strike, but you can't use a full round action. So you can move and do all the damage, because um, whereas opposed to if you do a full round action... Then that actually gets you more all over the long run if you hit both times or all three times or whatever. Oh, okay, I got it. So this time is for sure. So if I use vital strike. Yeah. Well, at this time you should use a full round action because you actually do a lot more damage. Okay. Over um, the course of that. All right. Well, whose turn is it? Yeah. Oh. Um, it's Marines. It is Gowron's turn. Right, you right. may want to hold your action till after me, so I can haste you and you get three attacks. So, can I hold it then after he's done? Then you, can, you can drop down. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Remember, don't forget about Joe. Right, right. We'll, we'll get Joe up there and. Uh, and Minion. Moraine. <laughs> okay. Um, step one I. I use. Inspired Greatness, which is a Bardic performance. Because it's a move action on Gower. He gains two hit dice, plus two to attack, and plus one to fortitude. So, what's your hit dice? Uh, it's two d6s. No, hit dice. Um, d10. So, you gain 20 hit points. Okay. Um, plus two to attack, and plus one to fortitude. Nice. Um, I cast haste on us. Okay. Um, and it's my turn. And Joe, oh yeah, um, moves up to attack with his three attacks. So okay, or uh, two attacks. Two attacks because it's not full round. Um, first one. Is yes. Okay. Second one. Yes. No, not much AC. Or very intense AC. Okay. First attack: five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, and eight, fourteen, fifteen. Well, I get the fourteen. What? What? I got the 14. 14, and then it's 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 14, 20. 14 plus 20? Yes. Okay. The guy gets hit. All right. Doesn't seem to bother him too much. Here's the question. Since I get a plus... Technically two, don't I get two to my attack, right? Okay, so chance to hit. Yep. So it's with haste, you get the okay. Missed haste. Oh okay. shit! Forgot. What? Um, Joe just entered into his space, so he's going to use unexpected strike. Uh, 36 to hit Joe's AC. Yeah, yeah, uh, it hits. One plus strength. Uh, 25 damage to Joe. Okay, well, the Marine's going to spend the rest of this time. Um, That's good news, because if he had done that to be really, she'd be dead. Okay. Joe is bloodied. Okay. Um, so you get a plus one attack from haste and a plus two attack um, from inspired greatness. So I get three plus two attack? Yep. 
Okay, here's the question, Davis. Yeah. I got 17 without even rolling. Do I need to roll? <laughs> to prove that you don't get a 1, maybe? Just roll to see if you get a 1. Oh, or you get 20s. Oh. Or a crit, yeah. There you go. That's first attack. Because you want that crit. Yeah. Okay. Alright, first attack. Then, okay, what does that one thing do for me for my attack? Remember? It's only attacking. Um, well, no, no, no. You said that thing you cast it on me first before haste. Inspire oh, greatness. inspire greatness. Yeah, um, inspire greatness is just just a plus two attack. So essentially, it's just giving you more more attack to hit. So okay. maybe well, I'll just honestly, stop. if you don't roll a one, then you hit. Yeah. So okay. So let's see here. He he he's a, he hits hard. Yeah. So that is fifteen plus my third damage. Which is five, so first attack. Second attack successful. Seven sixteen plus four. So that's twenty damage for my second one. And I didn't, uh, I didn't roll one, so that's fourteen plus four, so eighteen damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of damage you've done <laughs> in one round. That is amazing. <laughs> Got the power of vengeance behind me. You should last a couple rounds. What? You should last a couple rounds. Oh, okay. So uh, that was Garen's turn. What round one is over. What about Blue? Oh, yeah, she disappeared. Ding. What about, you, what about uh, Minion? I uh, has to go on this turn and he used... Um, I, I didn't Joe. say anything, so... Yeah. Um... Billy's turn. She pops up behind him. I think this gets everybody thinking. <laughs> so does he get that ability where he can attack her? Nope, he can only use it once. Oh. Um, I think she can attack twice now. She's... T- <laughs> Why don't you both roll me a d20? Okay. 19. 9. Um, okay, it hits. Okay. Let's we'll say um, plus an extra, but, you know. Wait, what was yours? 19. Okay, that's a crit. Um, Try to confirm. Yeah, confirm your crit. 17. Okay, crit confirmed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Alright, let's start with this. Um, five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, okay. You don't add that for crit. Um, eight. Five. Um, sixteen plus sixteen. It's a crit, so she gets another D6. <laughs> plus three minus damage resistance. Probably getting like a thousand hit points. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not exactly, he says. He's pretty roughed up a little bit at the very least. He's pretty roughed up. <laughs> Has he bloodied? He's gonna, he, he got hit for 114 damage thus far. You guys are <laughs> just ripping him. Oh my Power god. Our vengeance is upon us. Yeah, okay. Um, um, but it hope, is his turn. Hopefully he doesn't kill you in this next. He will. Ugh. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Or he's going to go after Joe to try to kill off Joe. That way the Joe can't help us. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> hmm. As long as he doesn't, uh, I suppose, I don't want to see him crit anything. We're going to hit Garen for That's 16 plus 14. Yeah, that's three to sixes. Um, is 
11 plus 13. 24 damages for you. And his second strike, he's going to hit Joe. 425 versus AC. Yeah, that hits. All ones. No. Oh, Joe's um, dead. No, not yet. Oops. 12 plus 13, that's 25 damage to Joe. Joe is dead? Well, he's gone into negatives. What is his negative? Um, 25, 4, minus 4. Minus 4? Okay, he's still alive. He's in critical condition. Yes. Okay. And he can't free action to kill Joe. Okay, um, it is Moraine's turn. Yeah, rock in a hard place. Okay, um... Who do you want to save, Gavin or Joe? Mine's at 50 health right now. Oh, watch this. Minion, take that health potion out of my backpack and give it to Joe. Hmm. Okay, so I was here, right? Yeah. So, let's see, that'd be a move action. Take it out. For... For him. Yeah, yeah for him. For move him. Move action, take it out. Another move action to go there, and a standard action to feed it to Joe. Yeah, he's got haste on him. He does have haste. What's his haste go? Uh, extra turn. Extra uh, standard action? Yeah. Okay, he can force feed Joe a, a health potion. Boop. Roll for What does that do? To um, that one was... Well, it'll stabilize him, at the very least. Um, D10. Or, uh, it says 10 hit points, but I'm guessing it's a D10. No, I think I've made it straight to 10 Okay, hit 10 hit points. So, he's at six. He's not out of the woods yet. All it takes is the one of this giant sword. Oh, oh. Yeah, but I pretty much just did 50 damage. You're down on how many hit points? Me? Yeah. Okay, 50. You did 20 damage to me. He gave me an extra 20 with that one thing. Yeah, yeah. I did 20 damage to you, and I did 25 to you. Okay. So, total of Marine is going to cast Cure Serious Wounds on Gaurin. So, uh, you get Serious wounds. 27 hit points back. Sweet. 77 hit points. Alright. And I can also take an attack, right? Because I get an extra standard action. I guess so. Okay. I attack him with... I suppose I shouldn't do fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Kill I would love for you to do fireball. Well, I could always go like this and put it vertically and go. It has to hit something, doesn't it? Yeah, his head. He's a giant, right? No, he's oh. seven foot tall. He'd still splash and hit the rest of us. He's big, but it's a twenty foot rough radius. He's not forty foot tall. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's was, 40 foot tall to me. If he was 40 foot tall, we'd do a skill challenge to get to his head to put your okay. sword in that spot. Green will then um, attack. Okay. With what? Boat? Yeah. Quick, uh, quick drop. Boat. Um, 8 plus stuff. If it's over a 2, you hit him. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. When he... When he's raging... Oh, no, never mind, it's already factored in. Yes. Okay, so... 2d4. <laughs> oh, and you drop it. Yep. 3. 2d4? Yeah. Uh, one, 1d4 pl- uh, oh. plus fire. Okay. And 4 fire, so... So 3 and seven. 4 fire? Yes. 7, 7 total... Um, fire gets around damage resistance, right? <laughs> yeah, I think probably. So, five damage from Moraine. He was like, all oh, like, hey, what? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Arrow. <laughs> mm, okay. 
Garen. Alright. Try your best. Didn't miss. So, 7, 16. 16 plus 8, which is 24. 24 damage first round. So, I didn't miss. So, that is 14 plus... That's 20 damage. Didn't miss. That is 10, 19 plus 24 damage there. Still standing. <laughs> is almost legitimate. So he's hardly even a monster. <laughs> and he's a monster. Oh, he, he okay, he also carries a, uh, a, a sword that's a size bigger. Okay. He's basically carrying the same thing can Joe is. Okay. <laughs> Only this one looks worse. Okay. Um, it is Belili's turn. You can all give me a... Um, a d20 roll. Nine. Gonna hit. No, it's going to hit. Okay, so... She is how many f and 3 d6s? Uh, plus sneak attack. Yeah, it's because of the sneak attack. <laughs> she only does one d6 when it's not a sneak attack. Um, Jeez. Six and four tens. 20 wounds, damage resistance, and she gets back again. Plus 10, plus 5, plus 21, still alive! <laughs> this was a triumph. <laughs> okay! Big success. <laughs> but it's his turn. Oh, damn. Should have healed uh, Joe. He's going to die now. Oh, I can do a power blow. I was thinking Grease. Oh. Yeah, my fire damage would set him on fire. Yeah. But he would also drop his weapon. Oh. Yeah. Power blow. I can use it once. He's going after Joe. (laughs) So tempting. <laughs> Garen, power blow. Um, I assume a... Is that a 30? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's a 30. Um, it's weird. It only gives me, like, plus 3 mm. to damage. Hey. So, whatever. Plus, I think pretty good. I think so. something is... Oh, I rolled so low. <laughs> um, there's going to be a... 7 plus 16... 23 damage. Joe. 24 hit his AC. Yes. Really? Um, you, you kill him. Five plus six. Oh yeah, he was uh, so low. Twenty-four damage. Joe dies. What is Joe's Constitution score? Um, it is a fifteen. Did he reach negative fifteen? He was at six. Wait. Oh. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. Joe's dead. Joe will live on in my songs. There was a minion right there, too. What? Oh, 
that's not Joe. Oh, shit. It's Joe. <laughs> it was Joe. <laughs> okay. Where's Moran? Right there. Nice. But it's not his turn. It's Moraine's turn. Okay. Your ability to do damage is gone. <laughs> he says. Um, no, he's still right there. Yeah, I'm her ability to do damage, Buster. Okay. Um, so I'm continuing the bardic performance, so, you know, do hit dice. Oh yeah, it's not just d10, it's also plus your constitution. Or a 2d10 hits. So 20 plus your constitution. Mod. Um, so um, plus one, I think. Yeah. It's not really... Oh, plus two. Anyway. Um... Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were going to... So, go. All right. Uh, um, Marine... I don't know what Marine should do. Just freaking attack, or... She, she, she commands Minion to move back. I put step. And Marine casts Fireball. So... You're going to kill a bunch of people behind you. <laughs> Well, there's a bunch of people watching. Well, unless he goes back here a little bit and then get the... Okay. Pretty much Five, I'll just... 10, 15, 20. 20. 5, 10... Wait. 5, 10... Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. If you put it here, it's... 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. You can hit if you put it here. You can hit him and nobody else. Okay, that's exactly what I do. Okay. Reflex save for seventeen. Reflex save seventeen. Seven plus his reflex of six. He, he takes save. full damage. Six, 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 six. Oh damn it! Twelve, yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. Plus my extra attack. For okay. being hasted. And. Oh! Natural 20. It hits. Okay. Um, so. Come on, critical bit with your little ball. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, let's see, what was it? Using deadly aim, um, plus 4 to damage. Maybe I should have said that. Be first. Just okay. do it. Okay, so four, eight, plus fire damage, eleven, uh, and for being in point blank shot, twelve total. Twelve total? Yep. Oh, and I guess it's a times three critical, so I do one more. D4. Do it. Another four. Two. Four. Four, right? No, three. Garen! Finish this off. Okay. <laughs> That's a hit. That is. 13 plus. That's 17 damage first round. It's. 6. So that's uh, 15 plus. 6. Third round. It's. That's 13. Plus three, so that's sixteen. <laughs> you killed them by four hit points. <laughs> yes. Wait, what is his constitution? Uh... Oh, well, okay, he's knocked unconscious. Would you like to stab him in the chest? I take out my basilisk daggers. 
And uh, I give one to Minion, one to Gowron, one to Bilili, and one for myself. We all stab at his heart at once. <laughs> Bilili stares at her because she's saying stand what's going on here. Bilili, come here. <laughs> 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 So, this mountain of a man falls, and y'all just like, Basket of Stars! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody standing around watching, kind of blank stares on their skull covered faces. And there's a man that comes out from behind everybody, and instead of having a black skull on his face, he has a white. Snake head. And okay. this is a fairly large guy. Mm-hmm. He walks out. He comes up. He grabs a hold of this massively huge blade and with some effort picks it up. Okay. And turns around, walks back into the building. Hmm. Is he in charge now? You want to kill him too? <laughs> no. Their biggest warrior is probably good enough. Right? I was going to mess with us now. We killed the strongest guy. And everybody starts filing into the building. Anything on the big guy? Just a giant sword, which is no longer there. Oh. This guy is pretty much just a, a pelt for a thing and just a bunch of tattoos and shit. Mm. Okay. We're leaving a lot of unresolved stuff at this moment. So let me save and let's talk. Okay. Okay. I really need to know what Gowron and Rain do at this point in time. Well... I don't know. That's that one. Because kind of the question is, okay, did they kill off everyone in search then? Or can we go into their thing and say... You need to start asking... What what do you do? I mean, what do you ask? Well, would we ask the big guy? The new guy that's in charge? Okay. Um, you want to ask him what they did with the people of search, mm-hmm. and he brought him to Malek. And Malak handed him over to the Nulls for a good price. Okay. The Nulls of Malak. Or Malak this... collects the prisoners yep. from the yep. surrounding areas, which the Nulls use as slaves. Okay. Well, so you get that information, then what do you do? Um, we're gonna, well, I guess maybe I tell them, stay away from our area, which is Cert and this area and this area and this area. Yeah. Yeah. Stay away from Aligoth. Okay. And go back, I guess, to the Queen and see if we can barter for the lives of our people in town. Okay. Um, and the Queen... where the hell they put all the halflings... I want my brother's back. The queen doesn't understand this claim of these people were not prisoners. Because she has been massively assured that all these people are prisoners. And if you actually talk to most of the people, you find out they are actually prisoners, or were prisoners. Okay. That their government sold to the these people who sell them to the nobles. Yeah. So um, you can ask Mr. Uh, what's his name? Malik. Or, or you can ask Malik whatever you want. Oh, we're gonna take a palm of flesh out of Malik then. Okay. So go talk to Malik. What was the first thing you say to him? So there's one less giant of a uh, skull belt barbarian outside. Good. Guys are weird bastards. Okay. 
And you have a head. Yep. Great job. Where's your Minotaur? I bought this pond of flesh. Um, Rings is getting really dark now. Uh, we tell Malik about the prisoners that they, the prisoners they took, the actual people, and say like we want them back. Okay. Or we're going to be taking more pounds of flesh out. Well, Malak suggests that he personally doesn't care where they got their people, mm-hmm. but he didn't want to ask the guy too many questions, and that that is any type of thing that should be directed to Queen, because as far as he's concerned, he deals strictly with prisoners. Okay. Can we ask him where he put those prisoners, or where, where he sold them to, besides just the gnolls? The gnolls. Okay. Um, Rajak, the guy that guards the queen, is kind of the head of everything. He's pretty much the only gnoll here that really speaks common to any real degree. Hmm. Okay. Um, is there a place we can rest for the night? Yeah. Okay. I do that. We do that. You guys rest the night? Yeah. I mean, the queen at this moment loves you and wants to hear more stories. Okay. So, you get a reason about this. Oh, great. I don't have joy anymore. <laughs> <gasps> okay. All hit points back, all spells back. Okay. We do. We go back to the queen and the gnoll guy and uh, we ask for okay. our people back. The queen starts asking Razek some questions and quickly realizes that Razek doesn't really care if the people around here are prisoners. That's just something that the queen's father had put in place at some point in time. Okay. Before he had died and left his daughter as the heir to this city. Um, she seems distraught that these people are maybe not prisoners. And he tries to settle her down. She leaves, and then, like, things start going a little chaotic. Because Razak knows that if she starts freeing the prisoners, and she will do this because she's a naive little girl, that this whole thing is going to come crumbling apart. Okay. So right now, you're in an empty throne room, and all the guards are chasing after the queen. Wait, they kill her? No. Oh, calm her down and try to talk to just, just to get her to stop from, like, you're all free, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Okay. We say, your highness, your highness. Okay. You chase after her? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Make sure we catch up to her. Um, let's say you catch up to her. Okay. And you stop her from doing that. What do you do? You want just your people? Tell her. It's like, if you can, like, Put it down like we're buying them so that the public sees that, oh, wait, sure, these uh, people are belong to them and free them. And okay, maybe the Queen's I'll... still not happy, maybe. but they go through the books, they actually do figure out which ones are from Malak directly and which ones are from mm-hmm. these guys. And um, you get a bunch of people like a couple people from Cert, mostly people are from Brookstone. The gnolls are not exactly very nice in their treatment of their slaves. Mm. And the people that do treat nicely are the ones that are actually, like, in the CD proper. So, like, the little girl, the lady that you ran into earlier, Mm -hmm. was obviously treated a lot better than some of the people stuck in the mines. Hmm. Okay. So, ask them where the halflings are. Um... If they ate them, rain is just going to go full <laughs> batshit crazy. It is. Like, the queen doesn't even really know what a halfling is. I mean, she knows what a halfling is, but she's never seen halflings until you came by around. Okay. And it is obviously revealed that they make poor slaves, and the gnolls eat them. Oh, dear. Actually, the gnolls eat pretty much anyone, but the gnolls literally kill any of these ones. Okay. No survivors? No, they're like, oh, that's not going to make a good slave to the pot. (sighs) 
Marine knows what she's going to do when she takes the leadership feat. Okay. Are you going to leave with your group of people and escort them back to Alioth? Currently, yes. Okay. You're sitting on the closing sun. Moraine, Gowron, Minion, BDD. Why don't, why don't we hire a bunch of carriages and supplies to take a couple of carriages, supplies. Um, she'll give you most of this stuff just to try to make some type of amends for what they did. <laughs> Sun setting. Hmm. And there is a bright light in the sky. And it is falling. Essentially, it's a falling star. And it gets bigger. And bigger. And bigger, and flies over your head and off into the horizon. Okay. What what the hell was that? Several minutes later, the ground starts shaking. And... Give us reflex saving throws. Seventeen. One. Oh shit. Um Rain is knocked back as the ground flies open. And this giant crystalline structure rips out of the earth. Probably 60, 70 feet in the air, and there's like a whole line of these crystalline structures. Okay. They're pulsing and stuff like that. And you can feel like the energy that's pulsing through this crystalline structure. And that's where our game closes. Why would you do that? So, that's it. This um, this ending didn't railroad as much as I had previously planned for it, so it took a lot longer than expected. So we're actually rolling on three hours, I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Wow. But um, that's it. We're done. The remnants, remnants of Surt is over. And now you can fully use, put your attention to your next. Wow. What was that at the end? That is the beginning of the next campaign. Oh, okay. That is the event. Hmm. The uh, end of the world, so to speak. It's not so bad where, you're, where you live, but where that star hit. <laughs> <laughs> what was land is not land anymore. And it ripped the world asunder. Mm-hmm. And it disrupted the time and fabric of the different dimensions and shit. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, there's no zombies. Well, there's always zombies. This is a, a game like this. But that star doesn't cause zombies. Okay. The star rips holes so like the face starts leaking into different places and all kinds of other weird crap. Right. Like, I'm the, the material plane. <laughs> oh. So. This was a dodge. The entire campaign. Yeah. It was a, almost a year, was it? Yeah. Well, we're running six months. Well, no, I mean when it first started. Six months. Hmm. Six months? Are you sure? Well, I started a couple test games before we um, actually started this campaign. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss Marine. That's going to be... Like, like you you could always create a similar character with the can't do title. That. Can't do that. you got to do something different. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah. So... Maybe I'll make it dwarf for something. Why is everyone going to play dwarves? Okay. Or a bug person, maybe. Okay. So, okay. anyway. That is the <laughs> end. Oh. This is the end of the book that I'm not going to write. The end. Hold on. Why would you do that? <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye.